What if your arteries are aging faster than you are because of where you store fat, not how much you weigh? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're looking at evidence that the placement of fat in your body, visceral, liver, and even fat infiltrating your muscles tracks more closely with cardiovascular aging than BMI ever could. I'm Alara Skye. You've heard BMI used to label risk for decades, but it flattens a complex picture into one number. It can't tell muscle from fat, and it can't show whether fat is tucked under your skin or packed around your organs. That difference changes how quickly your cardiovascular system ages. BMI misses key biology. Subcutaneous fat sits beneath your skin and is generally less harmful. Visceral fat is different. It surrounds your liver, pancreas, and intestines, and releases inflammatory molecules that raise blood pressure, disturb blood sugar control, and strain your arteries. Liver fat is another problem area, disrupting detoxification and driving insulin resistance. A recent European Heart Journal study analyzed more than 21,000 adults using whole body and cardiac MRI. Researchers estimated cardiovascular age with machine learning and compared it to actual age. The gap, called age delta, revealed whose arteries looked older or younger than expected, and then they mapped that against fat location. Sex-specific patterns stood out. Men showed more visceral and central abdominal fat, and a higher total fat mass. Women had more subcutaneous and gynoid fat around the hips and thighs, and more fat infiltration in muscle. With age, visceral fat rose more steeply in men, while both sexes saw increased fat inside muscles and a modest decline in abdominal subcutaneous fat. When the team linked fat depots to cardiovascular aging, visceral fat emerged as one of the strongest drivers of an older-looking cardiovascular system in both sexes. In people with diabetes, visceral fat magnified the effect. Liver fat independently predicted a higher age delta even after adjusting for lifestyle and standard risk factors. Fat infiltrating skeletal muscle mattered too. When fat accumulates inside muscle fibers, glucose handling worsens and muscle function slips. In the study, more muscle fat infiltration aligned with faster cardiovascular aging. By contrast, gynoid fat in women, particularly before menopause, appeared protective, and total trunk and whole body fat mass showed protective associations in women. Blood markers and hormones tracked with these patterns. Higher apolipoprotein B aligned with faster cardiovascular aging, higher HDL aligned with protection, and glycoprotein acetyls marked faster aging. Estradiol appeared protective in premenopausal women, but harmful in men free testosterone linked with slower aging in both sexes, and sex hormone binding globulin associated with faster aging in women. BMI alone underperformed. It showed only a weak link to cardiovascular aging and often misclassified risk, overlabeling women with normal fat mass as overweight and missing men with high visceral fat. The message is clear. Your risk is not a single ratio. It's where and how fat accumulates inside you. So how do you find out where you truly stand without an MRI? Start by widening your checkup. Ask for fasting insulin, a H-O-M-A-I-R calculation to gauge insulin resistance, a full lipid profile, and inflammatory markers. Add simple tape measure checks that reflect fat placement rather than weight alone. Your waist to hip ratio is straightforward. Divide your waist by your hip measurement. For men, low risk is under 0.95. For women, under 0.80. Ratios above 1.0 for men and above 0.85 for women signal high risk. You can also use waist to height ratio. Between 0.40 and 0.49 is a healthy adult range. 0.50 0 to 0 0.59 indicates elevated risk. If your BMI looks normal, don't assume your risk is low. Fatigue, signs of insulin resistance, or unexplained issues can point to hidden visceral or liver fat. On the other side, a higher BMI with strong metabolic markers doesn't always carry the same risk as BMI suggests, 
your numbers should reflect your actual biology. Protecting your heart means addressing metabolism at its root. Check your metabolic markers instead of chasing the scale alone. A fasting insulin, H-O-M-A-I-R, and those waste ratios reveal central fat storage and insulin resistance long before a crisis. Use them to track progress as you make targeted changes. Choose carbohydrates that support insulin balance. Most active adults do best with 250 to 300 grams of carbs per day from whole food sources. Start with simple, easily digested options like whole fruits and white rice. If you've leaned hard on low carb or fasting, consider whether your energy, mood, and glucose control improve when you select the right carbs. Eliminate seed oils that derail metabolism. Vegetable oil blends, soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, cottonseed, grapeseed, rice bran, and peanut oils. Fuel inflammation and push fat into unhealthy depots. Replace them with traditional fats such as grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow, and consider coconut oil for cooking alongside whole, nutrient-dense foods. Correct micronutrient gaps that slow fat handling. If you feel persistently tired, look at magnesium and vitamin D. To optimize vitamin D, aim for midday sunlight exposure, but first remove vegetable oils for at least six months, since they heighten your risk of sunburn and skin damage. Pair sunlight with routine testing to confirm improvement. Retrain your system to use energy efficiently. Strength training shifts nutrients toward building and maintaining muscle instead of storing fat. Daily walking adds steady movement to improve fitness. Exercise is not the entire solution, but when you repair metabolic function, it becomes a powerful tool rather than a blunt instrument. Use home measures to stay accountable. Recheck your waist to hip and waist to height ratios monthly. Track fasting insulin and H-O-M-A-I-R with your clinician. When those numbers improve, you're not guessing. You're documenting better metabolic health and, by extension, a slower pace of cardiovascular aging. A final reminder, location matters. Visceral fat, liver fat, and fat within muscle accelerate cardiovascular aging. Subcutaneous and gynoid fat can behave differently, especially in women. Shift your focus from weight alone to metabolic function and fat distribution so you can target what truly moves risk up or down. Here's today's challenge. Measure your waist, hips, and height tonight. Calculate both ratios and schedule labs for fasting insulin and a HOMA IR within the next two weeks. Then remove seed oils from your kitchen, choose whole food carbs like fruit and white rice, and add two strength sessions and a daily walk this week. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.